Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is Sports Monkey, and we're here in Franklinville for yet another episode. Now, what I did want to show you guys off camera before I get into how to build a zoo in City Skylines Park Life, I just want to show you that I built a warehouse district. Um, it's nothing crazy, so I filmed it and I hated the episode, and I decided not to post it. Anyways, for today, I want to get over to this side of town. I want to show you guys what I want to do. And for today, I want to build a zoo. So before we actually get into building the zoo, I actually kind of want to build a water source for it. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to look underground. Or as you can tell, underground, we have a couple different things underground. So I kind of want to put the water source in between because we can't dig over here and we can't dig over here. So I'm going to build a rectangular water source. So the reason why I'm using the roads, I know this is going to look weird, but what we can do is we can accurately dig the soil right here and watch. Let's take a, just take a gander. So as we go underneath, it kind of maintains the square or rectangle that we created. So we don't need to go that deep. Let's, and uh, and we we actually do need to get rid of these trees. I don't think we need trees in our uh, in our pond. Or It's not really a lake, so we'll call that like a pond. So what we're going to do is we will... I, can I add the Q walls even before I add water to it? No, it requires a shoreline. Okay. So how we're going to fill this is actually going to be quite interesting. I So we are on a PC, or not, we're on a PC. We're on an Xbox One. And the best way I think we can do this is we can add, we can add kind of like a pipe over here. Now, I know this is a sewage pipe. I 100% understand that this is a sewage pipe. But the problem, problem is, in City Skylines Xbox One, we cannot add... And it needs power. Son of a gun. I mean, I knew that, but... <laughs> so... This is what we're adding. We This is going to be our water source. I know that is not beautiful, but let's start building it. And once it fills in, um, we can get rid of that water pump. So this is the glorious way of building, <laughs> getting water in and creating a small pond or lake. So like I mentioned, we wanted to build a zoo. So I'm going to paint the zoo district in this area. Perfect. Awesome. That looks good. That looks pretty good. I'm not at all mad by that. All right. So we have that in place. Now we do need to watch the sewage level in our lake. <laughs> Ew. That's kind of gross. So what we need to do is we need to add a main gate. So I think the... Wow. Okay. That, that abandoned building I demolished actually worked out pretty well right there. I'm perfectly okay with that. Now we can put a side gate over here and oh wow, weird, wow. Okay, very odd. Okay, sometimes I actually start, <laughs> sometimes I start, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, I start videos and I'll start by adding a few things beforehand, but this time it was a complete accident that that worked out. All right, so we add the, added this nice little curved path now, if now this is the que real question. If I if I destroyed this now, would will the water stay or will it evaporate? We will see in a few minutes, and that filled in really nicely. Now let's keep adding to our zoo. As I as I, as I click on the industry, let's keep adding our, <laughs> onto our zoo. So I do want to have a nice little plaza, which everybody loves a little plaza here in the zoo and then we're gonna add a cafe we're gonna we're gonna have the cafe near near the lake uh let's build like a little cafe area if i can do that um i do not want curved roads all 
And if we can just put a couple, oops, sorry. If we could put a couple of the cafes, like put a couple of cafes and then I don't want the souvenir stall and then we'll put the bathroom right there. There you go. Now, has this evaporated at all? I don't think so. Okay, so this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be pretty neat. I'm happy with that sewer water. <laughs> all right, so I do need to add a souvenir stall. We can add the souvenir stall in front of the plaza. That should be okay. All right, so let's add, let's start adding our three exhibits, but I'm gonna add a road going out here real quick. Uh, I do wanna curve that road. And kinda, can I do this? Hold on, if I can do this, then go like that. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so now I do want to add our very first exhibit. Our very first exhibit will be the moose and reindeer enclo- Whoa, that thing's a little bigger than I thought. The moose and reindeer enclosure. So I'm actually going to put that to over here. Kind of out of the way. Not out of the- Okay, out of the way it was a bad word. It, I do not want it out of the way. Then can I build that right there? No. Oh, yes, I can do that. Okay, I'm going to- I'm gonna build that right there, perfect. So I just added the birdhouse. And now what's the last enclosure we have? The last enclosure we have is the antelope. The antelope, okay, the antelope aren't that big. The, ant the antelope. So we're gonna add the antelope over here, hopefully. Yep, and it fits in pretty nicely. I'm gonna leave room for a path. So now we do need to connect our paths. So we do need to connect the path here. Let's go straight. So see how there's an arrow? That's how our... That is how our exhibits are going to be connected to the zoo. So let's, let's move that there. Let's add that there. And we can put a tree dead center of that. But we're not going to add a tree yet. Don't worry. I'm not going to... I'm not going to leave you guys hanging details wise. So what we do also want to add is just a few more different park life things. So this... So for example... This pier belongs to the City Skylines City Park, and so does this one. Ooh, this is, that's a beautiful pier. That is, these piers are nice. I like it. Um, I do want to separate them a little bit, though. That's a little too close for my taste. Wow, that, okay, see, but the only issue is, if you really didn't know, as, as I already mentioned, that these are technically sewers. Or sewage water, so, you know, as long as we don't know or think about it, which I'm constantly thinking about it right now, it will be okay. As I'm wincing deep down inside. But again, again, we are on an Xbox One console, so not much you can do. Alright, so, we have that. Now, I do want to add a few more details, like this park cafe... Again, it's the City Skylines Park Life. It is the City Park Cafe. I do want to add an info booth to both of our entrances, but I don't have enough room over there. But do I have room over here? No, I do not. I will put it right there. That, that's a good logical spot. And then one more bathroom should work out great. So we could put that right. We can fit that right there. Perfect. So we do have that. Do we want to really build a chessboard? Probably not, but now we do have these cool little gazebos. I did add one or two of them already, but let's add like another one like right here. Just a place where you can get out of the sun and, you know, kind of relax. So we do have both those piers, which is nice. Then what else? Um, now, if you guys have ever gone, to, this is going to be really, some people are going to think I'm really weird. Which, I mean, I completely understand if you think I'm weird in general. But, um, I will add a couple games. Let's add one here and add one right there. Sorry, I just added a couple board games. But, what I'm also going to add is a merry-go-round. I have actually, this is, this is me, I've actually been to a zoo where there actually is a merry-go-round. So, I actually don't think that's that bad of an ad. And then... There's also one more ride that could be slightly questionable, but it, it's a Ferris wheel. I've actually also, the same park that actually, the same park, excuse me, the same zoo 
that actually had the that had the um, merry-go-round also had a ferris wheel now it was not nearly as large as that ferris wheel but you know I can't I can only do so much here on Xbox so let's uh, let's pump the brakes and don't harass me about it <laughs> by the way guys please remember to like subscribe and comment to this video if you have any questions please let me know and I will be honest with you guys I did buy a gaming PC while while I had this fence I'm gonna story time story time with sports monkey so I bought a game the reason why I have not posted a video in a couple days while I'm adding this fence is because I bought a gaming PC and I was hoping my next episode online or posted to YouTube would be me <laughs> would be me playing on PC well that did not work my PC that I bought I can put the specs in the I can make I'll I'll, I'll 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 comment in this video and I will put the specs but it just didn't it just it's not working and it's frustrating I trust the guy who created it I just who built it I should say create it yeah uh, built it it's just I have no idea what in the world happened and it i it's a it's an it's an amd radon 580 580 graphics card sorry i'm trying to multitask all right while i fill this in you guys will hear story time so it's a and then i have a raisin raisin ryzen ryzen jesus you can tell how much of a nerd i'm not it's a Ryzen 7 GPU or CPU. And for some reason, it's just not working. And the guy said he will take a look at it, even though he's, when he, he's originally, he's like, well, I tested it and everything was fine. Well, well, dude, you tested it and it doesn't work. So, in de facto, you need to make sure it's fixed. Anyways, he, uh, this weekend, he's going to take a peek at it. I've Googled it. I've YouTubed it. I have done everything in my power to try to fix it myself. And honestly, I failed quite miserably. And so I'm not sure when I'll have that gaming PC back, but I'm just very, I, I know a lot of you that comment here are PC users and that you guys harass me that I should have gotten a PC. Well, guess what? I got it. And it's just, I'm not even dumb. Honest to God, I am not even bad with computers. It just, I, I, I just don't know what the heck happened. So anyways, um, you know, thank you guys for watching. What I'm going to do is I'm going to detail this park. And, um, you know, if you have any comments about my gaming PC, like I said, I'll put the specs in the uh, in the comment section. Just let me know what you think, what happened. But please let me uh, know if you have any questions about the zoo. I'm gonna detail it like crazy, and hopefully it looks you know it looks it'll look a lot better, and we'll make sure these trains won't be seen. So thank you guys for watching, and please remember to like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. And thank you very much, and uh, see you in about 10 seconds. And welcome back guys. Now this is our fully detailed little park. Now I tried to do something a little different from my other parks. Like for example, I did add kind of like this canoe area where you can kind of rent canoes and, and canoe on our lovely toxic lake. But anyways, so I did add that. I did add a sit down area where you can eat and um, relax. And stuff like that i did add a couple rides um one's called the piggy train and the other one is the teacups near our kind of like our little amusement park area of our zoo now we will keep adding all the zoo exhibits but the problem is is we only have three of them for the time being so i do like how this really filled in this park and i did add some flowers and whatnot and what i also did was over here I added a boatload of trees so when you're in when you're in the park you're not really seeing any railways or any trains I should say you really can't see it and it's pretty thick forest and trees so that's what I was trying to go for so this is this is my zoo and if you guys have any questions please let me know 
I'm actually very excited about the zoo. It looks really good. I know we need to add more exhibits, but I do like how we added the pond slash lake, whatever you really want to call it. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And have a great rest of your day. And hopefully soon, I will have City Skylines episodes from a PC. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.